Okay. All right. Looks like you got the live stream going here. Good. <laughs> this is like the third time I've had to try this live stream here over by the strip. I was not planning to walk the strip anyway because it's pretty busy on the weekends and when I was over there in front of the Cromwell I could not get any signal to do a live stream so now I'm farther from the strip I think I had a better signal over here so we're gonna walk east <laughs> we're not gonna be walking the strip today we're gonna walk east down uh, Flamingo here and get away from the strip a little bit go off strip a little today and uh, just walk these, these walks are always more fun when I get to take you guys with me. So I figured you'd appreciate it on this weekend. Wow, 50 people already in less than a minute. That's pretty good for this live stream. Brendan. Glad I'm live. Thank you, Olivia. Anthony, what's up? From New York, Netherlands. You guys are all over the place. Hawaii. Hawaii are a couple hours behind us. <laughs> Jeez, like 70 people already. Pretty awesome. So, walking east today, guys. Because I was not planning to do this trip. <laughs> I was not planning to do this trip because uh, it's busy on the weekends. So, I'm up later than normal right now, actually. And uh, I could not get any signal over there in front of the Cromwell. So, I'm just going to go this way. I think the signal should be much better the farther <laughs> the more I get away from people the, usually the better the signal gets you know you walked all the way from Antelope Bay to the stratosphere that's pretty much the length of the strip from Oregon coming San Diego UK is watching walking towards Koval yep walking towards Koval um, we we'll probably go past Koval it's not really that far at the Golden Nugget right now. Andrew watching me. <laughs> nice. Thanks, Jay. So, also, it'd be a good time for a walk today because uh, my car said it was like 68 degrees or something. Like, it's super nice. We had uh, rain just last week. I thought we were supposed to be done with the rain, but we had it again last week. So, and I don't know if we're supposed to have any more rain. I think we're done with rain. We should definitely be done with snow here in Vegas until next year. In Canada, all right. UK, Brazil, New Zealand. In the shadow right now, valleys. Still got a pretty good shot of the strip from here. East Coast, DC, Boston are watching right now. Alberta, Canada. Yeah, you guys are still in some cold weather out there. <laughs> it's pretty damn nice here. You see people in shorts and t-shirts, right? Out jogging, short t-shirt weather. Maybe, maybe a light jacket. Hi from Germany, Georgia, Hawaii, Indiana. Man, you guys are everywhere. From London. Very expensive London. Wisconsin. All right, Brendan. <laughs> and this guy is not looking, so I'll go behind him so I don't feel like getting hit today. Kansas City, Brooklyn, Greenland. More international. <laughs> Colorado, Cleveland. Oh, there you go. I'm trying to catch the monorail going by. Miami. Some of you guys know other places that have nice weather. Boise, southern Idaho. This is the CNC, the uh, shopping they're building over there. Right behind the high roller. They knocked, definitely knocked out some parking there for the link to put that in. That's not going to make the parking situation any better over there. Omaha, Nebraska, frozen Wisconsin. Man, that'd be rough to be frozen up there this time of year. Like, you guys see how it is here on the ground level. How everyone's dressed here. The 
amazing channel. Thank you, Not Just Hair. I like that title. Iowa, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Hawaii again, Oklahoma. How about half a block from the strip, or half a Vegas block anyway. Right over here on Link Lane. So yeah, next street up is going to be Cobol. Right, coming at the end of this month, cool. Houston, Texas, Laguna Beach, Baltimore, more East Coast. All right, let's walk. Louisiana. It's also nice to get out and vlog today. I wanted to do a video, was it two days ago? But man, the wind was blowing hard. There's a ton of wind blowing, so it was pretty tough to film. Even, even with a microphone, it's tough to film in those conditions. Tucson, Ohio, New York. We'll walk right by the Westin Hotel here. We <laughs> dog, love the videos. Thank you, man. We walk right by Caesars Employment Center here. Iowa, Mexico City, watching from DF. Kansas, Hawaii, San Fernando Valley. Are we? Over a hundred people. I'm not even going for seven minutes. That's awesome. Thanks, guys. Toronto. Yeah, we're gonna walk right by this way. You see the Westin Hotel here. Which still has free parking. Although they saw the sign that they do charge for overnight parking now at the West End. And they might be getting ready to put in charge parking, looking at some of the construction they have. So we'll walk by the West End. Ellis Island is over there. Platinum Hotel is over here. Uh, Tuscany is just past. Alright, can I flip this? All right, don't know what happened. <laughs> totally lost connections. I was coming up right in here. Hello from Kuwait. Right here, a long way in the Middle East. Yep, back in back in action. <laughs> I don't know what happened with the connection. I thought I lost the video, but it let me resume, so that's cool. Chinatown. Oh, I've walked Chinatown, man. I got a whole vlog on Chinatown. Give Nelly a shout out. <laughs> Russell. Alright, shout out for Nelly. So you know guys, since we're you're on the live stream right now. Let me walk over here. Let me show you guys this. I haven't heard anything in the news, but I'm guessing the Weston is getting ready to implement some like paid parking. What's up, Ivy? All the way in New York. Cause like if we go over here to the Westin, Puerto Rico, from California to Oklahoma, man, that can be quite a change. See, look at, look right here, look what they have constructed right here, which looks like a place to put <laughs> parking uh, meters or you know the uh, or a parking gate. And there's a sign right there. Let's see if I can zoom in on it for you guys. That has a uh, says what overnight parking seventeen bucks, so that's uh it looks like they're getting ready to do something here with parking. There we go. It's back to normal. Can't wait to go back to Vegas. I don't think anybody can. <laughs> So many people watching, they're getting ready to come here, then when they leave, like, man, I can't wait till I go back. All right, let's get back on Flamingo here and keep walking. 12 days you'll be here. Let's see, I'm trying to get my zoom back. I think I'm still zoomed in a little bit. Uh, there we go, I think that's normal. All righty. Thank you for the bus. Great as always. Thank you, Russell. A little windy. Thanks for the 
videos. You're welcome, Ron. 79 days, but who's counting, right? <laughs> Steven, Arkansas. You are out there, my man. Platinum Hotel. Green beer today. That's cool. Let's get here to Cobalt. I got the walk sign, time to get moving. Hey, guys, say hi to everyone in traffic. <laughs> they all <laughs> stare at me going across the street. See the palazzo. Hey, you see the here. Actually, you know, let's get this corner here. You see the win, the encore, palazzo, West, Caesar's. You see Bally's, Paris, Planet Hollywood, Cosmo. You see Aria, the Hilton Grand Vacation, MGM, the Signature. I can, even see, I can even see Hooters down in the distance over there. I'm not sure if you guys can see it on the screen, but I can see it. I actually see quite a bit from over here. Platinum Hotel here. This is a place that doesn't get a lot of attention. But just like Ellis Island, it's pretty close to the strip and an easy walk if you don't mind doing it. A little hazy. Yeah. That's what I thought too on my screen here. But I'm not sure there's much I can do. It's a pretty clear day right now. It is beautiful. <laughs> Life is good here in Vegas. how much quieter it is just one block away. So stop right here. Block, well, heck, barely over a block, a Vegas block anyway, from the strip. It's so much quieter. <laughs> so I just do way less people, way less foot traffic here. Santa Rosa, yeah, I know where that is. <laughs> Up in the North Bay. <laughs> Don't do Vegas in the heat of summer. You know, it's kind of surprising how many people come here when it's 100, 110 degrees. The summertime is especially big for families to come. Families, college kids, because they're out of school. So we go by the Tuscany here. Sacramento. Electro, thanks for the compliments. British Columbia, more Canadians watching. Yeah, Canadians are interesting when they come to Vegas because they'll come here when it's the winter in Vegas and they'll be wearing shorts, t-shirt, and flip-flops. <laughs> and they're just loving it when it's like 40 degrees here. I'm going east on Flamingo, you guys. I'm actually heading towards 
the silver sevens right here. Not sure if I'm gonna make it because I'm gonna be at 20 minutes of video here pretty soon. But I keep walking. You can see the hard rock there in the distance. Soon to be Virgin Hotel. Well, probably not for another year or so. Still right around 100 people watching, that's pretty awesome. Ah, Sarasota, Florida, the concierge is in the house. You should buy the Osmo Pockets. You know, I've been contemplating that. Between that or the, um, this is the GoPro Hero 7. Love the videos, thank you, Mike. Kansas. HT is watching, thank you. Tuscany. This might be newer. I don't recall Tuscany having that. It looks newer. Gets them a bit more attention, I'm sure, for people driving by. Both awesome products. Thank you, Juan. All right, let's walk this way. Let's see. Coming up on Tuscany Casino Drive. It's right here at Howard Hughes Parkway. Some of you who know about Vegas history, I'm sure, know the name Howard Hughes. Thank you, Mike. Ah, uh, this walk is safer during the daytime than it is at night. I'll put it like that. Yeah, a bunch of businesses right here. I've been to New York City, not yet, man. Been to East Coast, but not to New York City. If Juan likes the Hero 7. Ivy, she's in NYC. to Paradise Road. I'll visit Dubai at some point. Germany watching. Saving up to move to Vegas? Awesome. You'd be you might be surprised at how many New Yorkers there are that are transplants here living in Vegas. I was surprised. I thought Vegas was just going to be a lot of California people, which there are, but there's lots of New Yorkers here in Vegas. New York, some New Jersey, some Boston, a good amount from Chicago and other parts of the Midwest. Not a ton of Southerners, but you get people from every state here in Vegas just about. What's up, Tim? What's up, Dave, Brendan? Thank you. I'm trying to see the names. Albie, Martin, John, Olivia. <laughs> it's going to be the son that lives in Vegas. Oh, there's some down here, definitely. Coming down in May for the fight. I mean, you guys are commenting like crazy. <laughs> Fifty plus crowd. Germany loves Vegas. Moving from LA. I actually do have some content coming up uh, in the future. 
a video for uh, retirees looking to buy a home here in Vegas. Retiree communities, 55 and up communities, that kind of thing. Bogo the Child did a video on that place, gosh, a year, two years ago. That place is good. I think it was 55, 58 bucks for dinner or something, but all you can eat, the way they do it is pretty awesome. See, look at that strip now. It's kind of crazy to think of all the construction going on in the strip and around that area and still see like, you know, just empty lots of land here. It used to be motels or hotels or casinos or might have been apartments. I don't know. But there's still spots near the strip. You have some empty land. Yeah, my car is just a brutal 68 degrees right now. New Jersey watching. Yeah. We got the emergency vehicles going by here. You know, guys, I've gotten pretty close. I'm just going to walk all the way here to Paradise Road. <laughs> we'll just do that. Walking with Jacob, yep. Walk, me on a walk with 108 other people right now. Thank you, Anthony. Coming this way as we get to Paradise Road, which some people call it Steakhouse Road. Because there's just tons and tons of steakhouses in this area. Because the convention center is right up that way. So if you're coming here on business, for a conference, you want to take your staff out to dinner, or you have, an, you have clients you want to entertain, take them to a nice dinner. Plenty of steakhouses right here by the convention center. Staying at Planet Hollywood, <coughs> good choice. Planet Hollywood's a cool spot, it's in a good location too. Thanks for the live stream, you're welcome. Don't step on your heel, I'll try not to. 110 people, wow. Scotland, you're covered in snow. Well, as you can see right now, we are covered in sunshine <laughs> here in Vegas. Oh, the only, I guess the only complaint you could make right now is a little bit of wind. Maybe a little too much wind, but that's really about it. That's the extent of our weather complaints right now here in Vegas. The Silver 7. Made it to where am I? Paradise and Flamingo. So yeah, I just walked a couple blocks with you guys. So yeah, so go down that way. You get the convention center on your right hand side. And some other, you know, smaller hotels and stuff like that. Go down this way, you wind up hitting the airport. Right, go right to UNLV, hit the airport. They said the Hard Rock Hotel right there. So guys, you're only like two blocks, I mean two big blocks, but two blocks from the Vegas Strip here, just east. So let's flip this around. Okay. I think it's gonna do it, guys. I think it's a pretty good little walk today, 25 minutes or so. I wasn't planning to come all the way down to Paradise, but I was making good progress. I was enjoying the uh, live feed and the comment section. So thank you guys for all watching. I'll have another video coming out in the next few days for you guys, so be sure to stay tuned for that. But for now, I have to tell you guys goodbye from sunny Las Vegas. For those of you coming here soon on the Strip, enjoy your guys' vacation, and I'll see you guys in the next video.